Greetings, video watching person. Once again, I am Tebow Legend, and now I am about to begin my first ever Let's Play. We are going to play A Tale of Two Kingdoms. Here's the intro. In the year 849, Old Reckoning, a group of Qualinic raiders accosted King Kulan as he traveled through his realm of Thalin. His intro is really long, so it's my... I'll have to upload the actual gameplay, because there isn't really any here. Not wishing to something about his riches, the king ordered his escort to attack, but his knights were overmatched, and in the ensuing battle, King Kulan was slain. This gives you a lot of backstory about what happened. His only son, Vortigern, was crowned the new king. Started his reign with a thirst for revenge. Gathering his mighty armies, he marched forth into Quail, Quailinim, and on to victory. This this font's kind of hard to read. Do you like my narrator voice, though? Within months, the kingdom was subjugated. The raiders scattered to the four winds. <sighs> Run out of breath. Should have ended there. Indeed. But the victory instilled in Vortigern a lust for conquest. Hey, sunsetting. Proclaiming himself Emperor of the Southern Realms, he set forth to unite all the land within his reach, under his sole command. Text scrolled slowly. City after city fell to his forces before they could muster resistance, and all the free lands trembled at the approach of Vortigern the Bloody. That's a cool name. Then, as Emperor Vortigern marched on the Dushi of Grantal, he was met with fierce resistance. The locals rallied behind one Meldon Whiteblade. Epic music, dude. He managed to drive back the invaders. Soon, Meldon became a local legend. Rumor had that he was a sorcerer's son and possessed a magic girdle and made him invincible in combat. A magic girdle? I always found that weird. Meldon's band joined forces with Lady Brenwyn, a Qualinic mercenary captain, and troops flocked to their banner. The number growing almost daily, they made a slow march for Thalen, liberating many cities on their way. Fortigern's forces were overextended and failed to mount a sufficient defense. Thus, the Southern Empire met its end at the hands of Meldon and Branwen. <sighs> Still running out of breath. His dreams shattered. Vortigern was left to rule Thalen as a bitter husk of a man. And... Title screen. What do you think of this music? It's pretty kick-ass. I like the whole choir. Yeah, even though this is a freeware game made with a program, here's all the a whole bunch of people that were behind it at this website. Like, this was no small production. They they put a lot of work into this. They started, like, everything from scratch. All the backgrounds, the characters, the character portraits, everything. And there's so many little details in this game. This is just an outstanding effort. This music's probably too loud for you to even hear me. That's how friggin' awesome it is. It'll tell you who's responsible for the music. I think there's at least three people. Three or four, I can't remember. I'll give you the credits in a minute. I see, here's the portrait art. This, this is all the animation and stuff. These are people who drew the portraits of the people and then made them animated. It looks like one of them says Neutron, which makes, some, it makes it think that it was a robot that did it. That'd be interesting. A robot developer on a game? Hey, here's the music, people. And the music in this game is outstanding. Like, it's got Legend of Zelda quality on it. I know some people might say Final Fantasy has better music. But I'm not going to get into that. Let's not get into these arguments. We're going to talk about this great game. Yes. And here's the creator of Adventure Game Studio. 
I might provide links for. I'm gonna probably provide links for both where to get Adventure Game Studio and also where to the the website, the Crystal Shard website to download this game or any of the others if they catch your fancy. That sounded weird. Three years later, and this is the elf guy. I don't remember his name. His name is like Theason or something. You can go ahead and read it if you want. You don't have to listen to my stupid voice. Yeah, they're celebrating the equinox. Something cool. Indeed. Here we go. This is uh, Branwyn, and there's Malden Whiteblade. That is who you play as in the game. You are Malden. I don't even know how to say his name. I say you call him Malden. But that's you in the game. In this case, it'll be me. And this is actually post commentary so you know. I'm looking around the room here, letting you see, like, this is the adventure game. Basic. This is basically a cutscene, so you can't really do anything yet. You're just looking at stuff. Like an elegant woven tapestry hangs over the table. Two people in heroic pose over a burning city. Kind of violent. <laughs> but also awesome. And, yeah, there's this huge banquet because they're celebrating the equinox. Interestingly enough. And, yeah, there's a dog on the floor. He's keep rats out. Yeah, whatever. I just click on everything you can click on in the room. That's what I do here. I even click on the door. Gee, what does the door do? It leads outside. Thank you, game. I did not know that. <laughs> I'm just waiting. Do do do. Can happen any time now. There's the menu. Inventory stuff. And I click on the table, and then finally, I see reserved for you, Brenwin and Tails. Oh, nope. the door is open. Ooh, music. Sudden change. Doesn't sound too good. Who is this guy? Geraint? What kind of name is that? Ah, left eye. She doesn't seem too happy to see him. Yeah, it's not gonna work, buddy. She's coming after you. Yeah, oh, yeah, see? She's not happy to see him at all. But this guy's the nice peacemaker. He makes things all happy for them. And look at this guy's face. He's like, all like eyes narrowing. He's pissed off to see him. Yeah. Salen needs your help. What? Methinks. I love that word. Methinks. And I just love this guy. His response here. Never! <laughs> Simple message. Yeah. Okay. Crawl back to our feast. Hey, right, crawl back to the cesspool that spawned you. I love that. See, that's my character saying that. Okay, I'm gonna have control of it. <laughs> the message is with us. Rashak Skullcrusher, Warlord of the Goblins. Now, that's a cool name. If, if I played too many RPGs and I had to pick a name, I think that'd be it. My name would be Rashak Skull Crusher. <laughs> yeah. That'd be cool. I don't play too many RPGs, I'm not very good at them. I've never really got into them. This game's kind of like one, but isn't. It's an adventure game. Well, it, it, a lot of the. The, the great story element to it, and the and a lot of the way the this game acts, it sort of acts like an RPG, but it's not because you can earn like different points. There's several different endings. There's like I think there's five. I don't know if I'm gonna show them all off. Yes, you have imposed on us for long enough. And she puts the thing away. And now the music won't change. But he just leaves the room. I wish the music would go back all happy, but... I like this knot. 
Yes, Yoda. Aye. I love that res response. Aye. Not to be true, Captain. <laughs> Two days pass. And now... Shazam! We're on a boat. Haha. -ha. Yes, you've said that already. Indeed, that's a good point. So basically, he said that the goblins are running out of food and they want to attack Thalen to take whatever they want. And he's saying that if the defenses of Thalen fail, they'll be free to spread out throughout the southern lands. And these guys are obviously in the southern lands. They don't want the goblins to attack them. So that's the only reason why they're going to help the old enemy, the guy they basically uh, conquered and threw out of uh, his whole empire and sort of stopped him from conquering the whole kingdom. And she wants him to wear his magic girdle. I sh I... yeah. It just... it's different. I've never heard of a magic girdle before. Ah, here's chapter one. A mixed welcome. A lot of guards standing out there with giant axes. Those axes don't seem too practical. You'd think they'd be kind of hard to swing. If you were to try to... I guess they're made for decoration. I don't know. Well, if you're wondering, the king's talking to them. You can't see him in the room. He's actually up top here on this balcony. I know it's, he's kind of hard to see. At first, when I first played this game, I was like, where the hell is this guy talking from? Because all I can see is this guy, these two guards. Where's this guy? And I looked up there. Oh, there he is, yeah. And there's the other guy, the great, the guy that came to the castle. <laughs> the other castle. He's kind of hidden behind Maldon's uh, visage. There he is. Oh, there, see that plant in the corner? I'll have to show you something later on. That plant in the corner. You can uh, talk to objects, and the game will give you, like, sarcastic little responses. But that one actually gives you something that I think is kind of amusing. So when we get to that, that's what'll happen. Now we're gonna they're gonna go talk to the princess. Princess Rhiannon. An elegant name. I like her her response here. Indeed. <laughs> you instantly kinda like don't like her. <laughs> well, I don't. I, for some reason I just don't like her. I think she's a bit of a I don't know. Look at you. Yeah, you're full of crap, lady. Parador. That's that guy's name. He's some kind of... Uh, I don't know what he does. He does something. He's kind of important. I, I just don't know what it is. Pri Prime Minister or something. I don't know. But he obviously is lower than the princess and the king. And they're talking about where the troops are setting up near Havgan, wherever that is. And indeed, she likes to say that a lot. <laughs> and she does exactly what I would do. Say, I'm going to leave you diplomatic pleasantries and I'm just taking off because I don't want to talk to this lady anymore. Sort of like Bradwin. She's, um... She's a tough lady. <laughs> and she's apparently our wife in this game. Because she plays Maldon and apparently they're married... He's married to Branwen. Lady Branwen, they call her. Yeah, this conversation kind of goes on with the... It coming to an end. It sort of ends before I can get to the end of the conversation, but it's really not that interesting at the end. She just kind of tells you about, did you have your own room? And that you prepared it, and... Yeah, the conversation just sort of ends when she says, we'll talk more over dinner, and he's like, it will be interesting to speak with him again. And here's they talking about why they don't like me, and or why you have to keep great in check, maybe, well, all that stuff. So, already a little bit of awkwardness. What will happen? Well, next time, we're going to get into a little bit of gameplay, so... See you then.